everyone's quest there. He needs an adult. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Yeah, hi. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. A woman. What's happening in my pants? She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared. The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb, a gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her my shoulder. But perhaps someone else did. Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what our chambermate can tell us then. Here's my wee wee has developed a case of rigor mortis. Oh god. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. Yeah, I guess. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to what meet with someone. <laughs> That's for four hours. Please consult the doctor. Exactly she meant. You do. Lad from the garrison. Ugh. Annoying little shit. Spent every gilly earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. <laughs> we already went Followed to bed. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Ugh. Tatienne was flattered at first. But it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. Good she thing I can't fuck. This man from the I would garrison. be scared and nervously fucking. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him. And you'll find her. <laughs> if it lasts that long, I'm showing everyone a man from the, the garrison. bad thing. <laughs> Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. I'm just gonna run away now. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something. Can't fucking game or real life. Yes, I can't have any fun or fuck, because I'll just nervously be scared to do it. It's not been half the moon since Bellinus I heard the bones fell favorably. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off. Hold your tongue. And where's the dame's brooch? One word from him and the bell's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame, thanks you. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. I gotta go tell you what I found. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. And then I tell her everything and how I have an awkward boner now. I'm scared. Oh, Tatiane, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. But that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. They want more. You'll find they have little love for bearers. Nobody does. They will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I sent you. 
I shall return as soon as I find something. If not, I'll be arrested. <laughs> Bertrand was a loyal patron of the Vale. Quests nearby. Up there. Ooh, boy. Until his appetite is tired. His appetite for pussy could not be sustained. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave now and go, if I find a monster or something, beat it up to get rid of this odd frustration inside my body. Orifla, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Very colorful chocobos. I'm interested just to see what's going on over here. The blue bird. Not that I really wanted to fight you, but like I'm heading in this direction. Want to hurt chocobos. Finished. Give them all you've got, boy. <laughs> Pushing you in this direction. Get him. Don't let them get away. Nailed it. Just want to see what's going on over here. Want to give it a high five? An Imperial Watchtower should be well stocked. Yeah. Hey guys, thought maybe I'd come by and see what's going on. I don't know if there's really a reason other than it's well stocked. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. You don't look like you're one of us. Well, gave it away. Smack it, smack it, smack it. worked out. Oh, hey, a box. It had a sash in it. That's slightly better. Make sure nothing else are on the outside that you're hiding. can't even go in. I like how it's like, oh, this will be well stocked. It's just one little crate. I can't even, like, go inside. It's another marker of some kind over there. Maybe I'll go explore real quick. Just to go take a look. Never know if any other goodies will be lying around. Give 
them all you've got. Don't let them get away. That's enough. Damn vultures. Bunch of raptors. Garuda, lend me your... Fun, just beating everything's ass. Hi guys, am I gonna fight you? I'm just kind of seeing what's in this old area. Kick your ass. Fist went into his cheeks. Stuck that hand right in his ass and just exploded with flames. What are you playing at, Brandon? And again, I keep thinking they're just calling me Brandon. It's over. Like that's not my name. My name's not Brandon. They didn't see their friends getting beaten up down the road. What are you playing at? Anything up here? Okay. Damn it, he's got me. Stay down. Guys, I visited the last place and it was pretty nice. Oh, maybe you guys would give me a warm welcome? No? Okay. I'll give you something warm. Yuck. Ah. I'll be honest, if I saw that, I'd just turn and run and be like, you know what, good luck with that. We don't need this place. Swim on! I like that as I was spearing him with flames, he said, heal me, damn it. And the dude was literally engulfed in flames. I don't know what he was hoping for. And there was no one left alive. I 
glad we came here. Definitely quests over there that we're going to run to, and then... As well as explore what that is of, up there, but that seems to be a gate, so... We might not be able to do anything with over there, but, you know... Doesn't hurt to explore! I mean, it can hurt if something kicks my ass, but still. <laughs> it can't hurt. Also gonna save. Oh boy, I wish we were a little faster, but you know, it is what it is. Let me open up my bottle of water for this run. Like I said, I have something behind me as long as hopefully, you know, I had to move it a little so that it won't, like, get blown into the mic. But it's just one of those, like, cooling things where you put cold water in it and it's supposed to help make things a little bit cooler in here. But it's such a tiny thing, I don't think it's going to do much, but at least it's something to blow on my back. So I may have to get up in a little bit just to add a little bit more cold water to it just to keep it, like, really cool. So I'll probably do that during my bathroom break. Not to give the wrong uh, impression that I'm just going to go pee in it, because that's not cold water. <laughs> like, that's that's the complete opposite, and also that's not going to help. That would also just be awful. I even want to think about that. Like, oh yeah, I just peed in this thing, and now I'm going to get cool air. No, no you're not. Yeah, that would also stink. I wouldn't know it, because I can't smell, but anyone passing by would probably want to throw up. You, Brandon, here now. No. Call me by my real name. Brandon. You're late. What kept you? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. All right, where is he? My, I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go, and see that you kill the beast. Got it. Pretty straightforward, all bark. Yeah, I'll probably put some... It's... Someone whose son's in mortal danger. He didn't seem all that worried. But, you know, Something's it's... Something's not right here. I need to be careful. It's not like the best thing in the world, but it's just something. Just me. It's something if nice on my uh, on my back to try to keep me a little bit cooler than usual. Stay back. I'll deal with this. Stay down. That's enough. Kick. supposed to kill Wolfie. You are supposed to die. Father will have you whipped for this. Bearers aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. Yeah, whatever. I'll gladly kick your father in the nuts. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this. Before it happens again. As I kind of figured when I got there, it was just a simple old wolf there. Frighten my son. 
You've slaughtered a huh. wolf was trained. Oh shit. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? Nope. How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. I don't know if it matters. I mean, that wretch would be the damn. That wretch would be me. I don't even know which one matters. I don't think, like, I mean, I think each choice kind of has its, like, whatever, but it's going to probably end with the same set here. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. Lies! Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Shut your mouth and listen. Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear and pain, just as you do. And unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. Father, he's scaring me. How dare you threaten us? How dare you? Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one. Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us Please, get more. I'll kill them and then threaten you more. to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? One too many. <laughs> no, no, bury the bodies, not jump with excitement. More victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service. Hi, Raymond. Like you said. Everyone love you? Never gets any easier burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. A little of this. I know a thing or two about digging holes, so. It's a lot of what I did in seven days, as well as creating holes. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. That's what was happening. Good. You deserve it. Um, I was wondering why I kept hearing a weird audio. Of course not. Wolves kill. I, uh... I had my TV going still. It still had audio playing. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. 
What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you know, good for them. They died. They deserve it. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our paths may cross again. Till then. But I was like, I kept hearing something weird with my audio, and I was like, the fuck? And then I realized my TV audio was still on. It was like, it should have been muted. I don't know how it got turned up at all. Eh, yeah, they'll be fine. I say I'm like, does the blood lead anywhere? Ah. Fuck them. Um, have you seen my Chloe? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. But she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? Um, sure. I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She was ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday, but it's my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. That's fine. If they get lost to the wheat, they're eating the wheat. That's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. People don't even want to talk to me. They're all assholes. Hi, are you an asshole? You work these fields? I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's clay thing. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. A windmill. windmill. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. Sorry, I'm just like checking something really quick. Morph, morph. Uh, more brown than white. You are not Chloe, are you, girl? Uh, is that someone napping on the job? I hope they don't mind the interruption. I don't know if they're napping. It's time to go home. Chloe? Oh boy. Why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. 
Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. Don't, don't say that. Yeah. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. But Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... Everything is not as what you have been told. I feel like we're gonna turn into a rock at some point. All this, they, they're really showing a lot about it, and I'm like, that's gonna happen to us. Especially since destroying the mother crystal or something is, uh, not, I mean, like I said, it's not gonna be as simple as let's just get a big hammer and hit it. But I wish it was gonna be as simple as that, but I get the feeling with the fact that we can absorb other people's abilities and things like that, it's gonna use up all of that power and gonna be uh, saying goodbye. I don't know. <laughs> don't think it's gonna be a happy ending. Add another brandy drop in the field. If the people of Moor, or at least for our character, it might be a good overall it's ending for people. I never sent my unit here. What do you want? I right, kiss my ass. Bertrand, the dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital. But only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. Yeah, I kind of noticed the way it's the people. Protection. Understood. And how it's already been, and I've been here for like five minutes doing quests. Yeah, this place sucks. We weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I'll I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Well, why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes, uh, yes, that's right. Yeah. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique it most certainly was not as i told him nevertheless he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal i stood firm however and for all his bluster he still purchased a new comb albeit an inexpensive one and do you know where he went after that my customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. 
I would do anything for the day. <laughs> anything. anything. Uh, be sure, oh, answer, God. won't you, <gasps> that I was helpful. I mean, most helpful. fortunate to have fallen into the dame's good graces. Thank you. I am very fortunate. You are all very fortunate. I can't, like, beat some fucking sense in a lot of you. But it's just how it is. Being branded, we're all shit to you. It smells of death here, Togo. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. Well, I kind of brought them closer. Around we go. That one did a barrel roll. <laughs> I feel stronger already. That's a level up. have been busy but the blood is long dry so it is you Tatian if that's true then the body next to hers will be Yannick's the girl Yannick went off to sea every night you said her name was Tatian you did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. I don't know, probably. No. I was sent to find Yannick. By the looks of things, I have. You both found who we were searching for. Yeah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new galant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. He Wasn't even from talk, a guy. But then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? Exactly. He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask us something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one. In the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Ah, oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which... I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. Well, that and I also have the comb to give back to her. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. Always a bad case of death around me. Damn it. Weren't expecting any new brand. If it was a message that needed delivering, I could have seen to it, milady. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Nice. Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You, you found her then. 
Well, unfortunately, this is what happened. Did tell you I'm not great at finding people because they end up dead. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Oh. Don't comb. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Quest complete. Thank you for all this money. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. There's a rocket the launcher. So what vest. the fuck? The veil. Counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. You're welcome. Oh. The doge. <laughs> 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 Just someone died. It was a sad thing. Where's that good boy? <laughs> I was thinking, like, maybe I'll go back to the hideaway or something, but I'm like, oh, I'll just wait. Wait until we get to another obelisk so it's a faster travel to get back. Guess we'll get to meet up with Sid and Jill and reminisce how I've had such a happy time coming to this place. Everyone's been a piece of shit. And uh, I found a lady. She's dead. I think I had an erection at some point. It's been a wild adventure. Oops. Oh, nope. <sighs> had to push on that heavier trigger to get it open. trouble on the way none worth mentioning as i was telling jill it's worse than i thought the capital's crawling with soldiers and here i am the deserter come home which is why we'll be taking the back door oh what So bad if I didn't have this mark. The pleasure houses. <laughs> well, uh. Safer place in the Empire than it. Mm. 
Uh, yeah. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. I mean. all our money. Okay. How do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most. Which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the Oh, heart. great. One of your a shortcuts. Shortcut. And how exactly did you come to know about this? Fatal chink in the Empire's armor. Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahamut, but that's not important. Bill, if the noises bother you, we could always try to Sid, outdo their if sounds. The mother crystals truly are the cause of the blight. If you wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is. If the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Seem to be doing that a lot. Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. It means my deeds will be remembered. I was like, this is a great place. We play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. Your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. I'm doing my best. This you've reached a pivotal moment of the story. If you continue, you'll not be able to return. See, I mean, I've done everything that I know of. I did just make a save, but you know what? I'm gonna make a separate save just in case. But I mean, like. I think we'll... It's just one of those shit's about to be drastically changed. So, like I said, somebody might be attacking the hideaway because they followed us there. We're all of... All of the protection of Sid, me, and Jill are over here, so... <laughs> Bad things... Are gonna happen. A room. There are not nearly enough men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. <laughs> Won't be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. 
worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy, even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. I never Maybe finish. The crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the inner sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. Again, I don't think we're just going to be able to break it. I mean, that's simple. Trying to stay out of sight. Time for more sad shit to happen. Obviously. Oh, well, the passage is empty. What the fuck? <laughs> it jumped down and Jill's already down here. I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck? Thought she was following him or was still up there. And it's just right. like I turned. Oh, hey. Let's get this over with. I don't wanna. Why do I gotta jump yeah, down first? Of course it did. Perfect plans, Clive. Perfect plans. That's enough. In your ass. Yeah, I'll push it. Just push down on this heavy R2 button. Ah. He never stood a chance. You're welcome. They couldn't handle my sweet kick. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. I should take a stop to look. I don't really admire a lot of scenery of just things. I just, I'm like, I see Sid going and I'm just going with him. I'm like, we gotta move. Maybe I take in the scenery for a second there. I don't tend to take it all in. And all good things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. Only a bit. Captain, to our <coughs> Summon the cannon. Stay down. Get up. We. Give them all you've got, boys. Oh, uh, anyway. I was talking about earlier. What have we here? More insects come to be squashed? You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. Let's carry that around, huh? Holy fuck. We were talking. 
Then let's shut him up. Oh boy. Flames to me. Don't let them get away. Oh, I want to fly off his belly. Flames. There's fire everywhere. Do you feel like something in the air? Ether. It's ether. Then we better make this quick. Ah. Can't burn me when my whole body was fire. You can do that though. A little help. Well done, Toy. Powered up. I don't know. I don't want to. Is he? I think he's drinking it. He's drinking it in, man. Bollocks. He's gonna crash it. I don't know what that fully means. Cool catch. Say you, pity. You'll get none in return. There's nothing left of him but hatred and rage. Let's end his torment. Total. I can't even tell what's happening. When I go into that flame mode, it's a fucking shit show. I can't even tell. God, I'm charging him. I thought that was all. Give them all you've got, boy. Right in my mouth. Not this time. I could not see, but I went full power. <laughs> Whatever works. Oh, hey, sweet. My ignition increased damage. I'll never get used to that. The Kashiko no, he was still a man. A man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Come on. Oh, what a tough son of a bitch. God. 
duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. Can I have his mortar? It's like you've obtained power of mortar. Oh, breathe deep of the blessing, my friends. You said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits. Sid, this is an ether flood. There shouldn't be one here, should there? The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt us, but I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else. It doesn't seem so great here. Delicious potions. It's like, wait a minute, you're yeah, allowed to call her that? cards at the gate. They weren't there to keep people out. They were there to keep the Akashic in. <sighs> we're in the middle of this situation. It's like, wait a minute, what the fuck? Bullshit. This looks safe enough. Doesn't look that far. Right. Come on, anybody, please. Not quite as spry as I used to be. I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side. Eh? At least you won't get lost. Thanks. <laughs> Someone just closed the door. <laughs> it's not like he just walked through a door and slammed it. I was like, Sid, where'd you find a door down here to close? Use the ability of Warcry to invigorate themselves to enhance their performance. Look for that. Try to defeat them before they deal too much damage. Well, I've grabbed a ton of friends. Ow. Oh, hey, a chest. Get 
Kind of just dragged them all the way over here. It was just having my own little party. Something up here, though. Ah, ten chunks. I don't even read the rest of it. I just got ten chunks. Keep your distance, boy. That's enough. Oh boy. <laughs> it's like, I think I moved. I was like, it feels like somebody's doing something behind me. Oh, they are. That's not what I want to see. Sit in the air, we're going for a kick. kind of went to deal with the other friends. Come on, we're here to play, big champion boy. Let's go. Showed him who's Clive. Me. <laughs> like, good one. chest a coral sword coral 
Did we already just get our replacement blade? I mean, we have had this one for at least two hours, so... Yep. <laughs> hey, man, that flame weapon that you got, that was really cool and all that, kind of done with, so... Uh, hope you enjoyed, but now you're going to go with five more damage and stagger for the coral sword. You know, I, I kind of like the other one a little bit more just because it fit the aesthetic of my look, but sure. I see they replaced that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. On the count of three. 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 What happened to two? Ask one. <sighs> Once more. Aye, seen as you're trying now. A super kick in it. As if that was going to keep us out. Sharp just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. Well, that's always a possibility. Uh, judge it by the way this all looks. Yeah, they were just doing that over and over. By how big everything looks, if this is the crystals, um, or a crystal, we're gonna need a lot of power, and I don't think we're gonna be able to. Do... About. Gonna go well. <laughs> I mean, if I called how this is gonna go, I know some people are like, "Man, he already knows how this is gonna go." It's like, well. I knew it would be big. I'm just, I'm never trusting of anything. This. Someone's dying, and it's oh, never as simple as it seems. You'd think that it patched that up by now. Sorry, state the empire's in. Wait. You don't mean... Aye. My little game of hide-and-seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. But how did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. Thanks. Path of the goddess. Ah, fuck. So it seems like a nice place to fight. Oh no. Them again. Is there something you two want to tell me? Maybe later. <laughs> Gate be here in the mines. There are two places connected somehow. I don't know. All I can tell you is shit's gonna get crazy, yo. <laughs> Got 
Bring them around town. Ow. You know what Can't see him just getting thrown into the wall. Oh, great, you again. Take this. I'm always early. He's throwing a tantrum. I love that a thing. That cleaves right through the stagger meter, and it's so fun. If I master, I definitely would stick it. Unless there's just an even better one in the other element stuff we get, I definitely will be maybe keeping that one because it's unless I like all moves. It's really hard to say. It really just depends how the rest of the moves list is gonna look. When I was in the Imperial Army, soldiers assigned to the Glass Gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardian. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Let's just be careful then. Oh, a Guardian, you say? <sighs> they said, or Jill, want to do a fusion dance? Maybe we combine their powers? There's a lot of space here. Is there going to be walls, a maze, a big-ass fight? Probably a big-ass fight. Where did that come from? A big-ass fight. <laughs> if I had to guess... Poor beast. Another victim of the Flood. From Halo? Like, no, no, the ether flood. Oh, crap. Ready, Clive? No. Always. I mean, yes, of course. Slow. Not anymore. Where to even begin with this? Get on the ground. Get them all you've got, boy. Am I winning? Not this time. Take this, take this. Where 
is he off to now? I, I don't know. Let's just say on vacation. Autorize. You guys stay there. <laughs> they didn't even move. They're like, watch out, Clive. We're going to stand where you shouldn't. That's a fire. Ow! Wasn't expecting that. That seemed rude. I have a taste of the ground. I can't see myself all that well, but I think I'm doing okay. In your butt. Yeah, in your butt. Dragon dance. Stop with the lasers. And staggered. came out of that attack so I couldn't move. I'll do it. Put my body up against you. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> and it's like, here's a new sword. <laughs> Just want them to be like, here. Fuck, you almost look like you broke into PS1 particles. <laughs> Are you all right? Fine. The inner sanctum lies just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. But they're not sane. Clive. Hmm. If this all works and the blessing fades, Things are likely to get worse for our gang before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after, by which I mean hunted. I just hope in the end, they'll see that we didn't have any other choice, that it was the only way to get us to a better place. And here I was thinking I was the uncertain one. Luckily, Two out of three of us have faith in you. Then it all starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? I don't know, something like that. Sid Licious. <laughs> <laughs> 